Ah, this is relaxing. Just me and my thoughts. Uh, but I'm not sure what to talk about in today's episode. Oh, look, some clouds. Yeah, they look kind of cool. In different shapes, and they're kind of fluffy. Wait, wait a minute. Wait, I know what to talk about. Oh, come with me! Are you ready? Let's go and talk a brand new book. Let's take a look in the Huck Buck Barrel. Oh, shall we see what the story is today? Let's take a look in the Huck Buck Barrel. The Huck Buck Barrel. Welcome back to the Huck Buck Barrel. My name's Jay, and I'm so glad to see you. So today, let's talk about clouds. So I know we talked about the water cycle before. Do you remember that? Yeah, we were talking about how water can warm up and it can go up into the sky and when it collects, called condensation. Yeah, we can get clouds just like this. But did you know clouds have names? Yeah, yeah. Clouds have names and that's so cool. So that's what we're gonna talk about today. So I have found out that there are three kinds of clouds, at least three main kinds of clouds. The first kind is what we can call cumulus. Yeah, so cumulus clouds are kind of like clouds that are big and puffy and fluffy and they look like really big squishy things. Kind of like, oh, like this. Like a handful of pom-poms. Yeah, so you could think of a cumulus cloud kind of like this. Except, <laughs> Ooh, they go everywhere. Okay, so the second kind of cloud that we're gonna learn about today is something called stratus. You might have seen them. They look really similar to, <gasps> kind of like a big cozy gray blanket. Ah, <laughs> yeah, kind of like that. Except you can't really sleep in them, can you? No, they're a little too high. And the third kind we can learn about is something called cirrus. Now, cirrus clouds are really cool because cirrus clouds kind of look like strings and they're like wispy, kind of like uh, feathers. Yeah, but uh, not quite like this feather, but maybe if you were to like paint with them, that would be really cool. Oh, and this was the one we found the other day. Huh. Cool. Yeah, cirrus clouds kind of look like little strands of hair, kind of like, uh... Where's my hair? Ah, what's that? Yeah, kind of like this. Wow! Perfect. Ooh. Okay, so let me ask you, because I know you were listening, what kind of clouds can we see? So we got three kinds. Let's see if we can point them out. Come on. All right, this one looks really big and puffy. Yeah, it's a cumulus cloud. Okay, okay, let's try another one. All right, this one looks uh, kind of long and thin, kind of like a blanket. You remember? Yeah, Stratus. Okay, last one. All right, this one kind of looks wispy and like little strands of hair. You remember what this one's called? Yeah, Cirrus! Good job! And those are just some of the clouds that we can talk about. I know you've seen other kinds of clouds. I bet you've seen storm clouds, big gray storm clouds. Maybe there was lightning and thunder. And you know what? All right, let's get hooked on a book. Yeah, let's do it. Why is it always squishy and wet? Whoa, hey, hey, this looks like a great book. This one's called Whispers from Mother Earth by Miriam Khalifa. This looks so good, let's read it together. Whispers from Mother Earth, written and illustrated by Miriam Khalifa. To my beloved children, sometimes I see your eyes sad and full of doubt about your glorious skin. I see you cry, wishing it were different. 
I see you frown trying to paint it lighter or darker, smoother, or make it one even color. I can't help but wonder, haven't you realized yet how beautiful your skin truly is? My dearest child, your skin is beautiful like soaring eagles diving through clouds dipped in my golden rays of sunlight. My dearest child, your skin is beautiful like the racing cheetah leaving a wispy trail of swirling copper dust along my baked grasslands of Africa. My dearest child, your skin is beautiful like a powerful bear, skillfully hunting fish leaping in my streams of honeyed water. My dearest child, your skin is beautiful like a silk siree stretching above the night sky, embroidered with luminous stars and planets threaded in silver. My dearest child, your skin is beautiful like a thousand ringed pearls shimmering through my quilted bed of seagrass. My dearest child, your skin is beautiful like the wise elephant mindfully retracing woodland steps taken by elders bathed in silvery moonlight. My dearest child, your skin is beautiful like a curtain of waterfalls, twinkling rainbow light and splashing crystal droplets. My dearest child, your skin is beautiful like the silhouette of dancing giraffes, gliding like musical notes over score sheet pages, drenched in my fiery hot sunset skies. My dearest child, your skin is beautiful like the velvet robes of a mighty panther under my canopy of gleaming starlight. My dearest child, your skin is beautiful like the elegant feathered gown of a peacock, waltzing and twirling to my whistling melody in the wind. My dearest child, your skin is beautiful like the aged willow tree, sweeping her branches along the glistening lake to kiss her reflection good night. My dearest child, your skin is beautiful like humming crickets hidden in wheatgrass, singing soothing songs to the steady rhythm of your heartbeat. My dearest child, if you could sit on the moon, listen with all of your heart and see the whole of me, you would know with unwavering certainty your skin couldn't be anything less than beautiful because you are part of nature and every single tint, shade, and tone is me. With infinite love and peace, Mother Earth. Hugs and kisses. Exit, exit. Whoa, oh my goodness, that was such an amazing story. What was your favorite part? Yeah, I really like that too. And I really like the part with the eagles. I thought that was really cool. Okay, so because we read it and we got hooked on this book, let's put it on our stand. Ba -ba! Just like that. Oh my gosh, I hope you had so much fun. I hope you learned a lot, like all the new kinds of clouds that have names. And don't ever forget that I am so proud of you and we can't wait to see what you, yes you, bring to the world. But you have to dream bigger than big. That's like bigger than this. Bigger than big and work harder than hard. And I'll see you next time. Wait, 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 wait. Did you see the BB Otter? Yeah, we hid it somewhere in the episode, but you gotta find it. I know you can. Ah, so cute. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>